Hi there, I'm Angie Zimmerman, the Wedding Flower Diva and the author of the Do-It-Yourself Wedding Flower Guide. And I'm answering questions that I am often asked by brides who are considering doing their own wedding flowers. And one of those questions is, who gets a corsage? The answer to that question is fairly simple. The moms always get a corsage and the grandmothers always get a corsage. Beyond that, it's entirely up to you. If you have somebody that's helping out with the wedding, say a niece or a friend that's going to monitor the gift book table or the, the I'm sorry, the guest book table or the gift table, um, you typically would give them a corsage. If you have somebody who's doing a special reading for you or singing perhaps at the ceremony and it's a female, you would also give them a corsage. Beyond that, um, I always run into this if when there's step parents involved or boyfriends or girlfriends of your moms or your dads. It really depends on entirely on how close you are with them. I would say if they're a step parent, then you definitely should give them a corsage or if it's a man, obviously a boutonniere. Um, if it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend, it, it's just a really hard call. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. That's the bottom line. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Um, and then realize that there are different types of corsages. You can do a pin-on corsage, a magnet back corsage, or a wrist corsage. And nowadays, not all moms want to wear a corsage. In fact, I often will do miniature nosegays for moms to carry or sometimes just a single flower that they'll carry in lieu of wearing a corsage. So it's entirely up to you and your parents and you know what everybody's desires are but if they want to wear corsages then don't forget it's at least your moms and your grandparents. Everybody else beyond that is entirely up to you. Hope that helps.